it's Alisa from Alisa Beth Photography and I just wanted to give you guys a really quick little tutorial on um, a little magic way to help make your box a little square um, when you're doing your box photos. So um, in my tutorials in the past I've showed you um, how I level my camera and how I use a level inside my camera to help me um, get my box as plumb as possible but you know we're only human and you know sometimes I take my box photos I look at them on my once I get them to my computer and I go oh they're a little crooked even though I my level said they weren't or they're a little warped and everyone talks about that in the group about how warped the edges are um, that's really something that just does happen uh, and you do have to learn to master that warping tool to you know help move your edges in behind the grid um, once you're in Photoshop but here's just a really quick little secret, maybe not a secret, but something that I do that really helps me before I even move my pictures into Photoshop. So I have here um, pictures from a shoot of a, a, a box shoot. And you can see, by looking at the box here, that you know it looks a little bit warped. It looks a little bloated almost. And so I have all my photos right now in Lightroom. And before I really apply any form, if you look to the right where uh, this little control panel is, before I apply any any even raw edits, um, the first thing that I like to do is I like to go over to lens correction. So if you have it closed, open it up, you'll see that there's something here that says profile and manual. Um, I like to go into profile, I click remove chromatic aberration, and then I enable my profile correction so it just picks up which lens I'm using and you see here it says that I was using the Tamron 24 to 70 which is exactly what I was doing and as soon as I clicked that button my box became much less bloated and really much more um, really it looks much better now so I'm going to just click the button off so you can see so while I click the button off be aware of the box itself and the squareness, and I, I keep saying bloated, but that's um, how I like to look at it. So you see the edges look like they're not really fully square, they're kind of bowed out a little bit. I'm gonna click the enable profile correction, and voila, it looks a heck of a lot better. All right, I hope this tutorial was help helpful, and i um, loving all the unbelievable creativity that's going on in this group. Thank you guys all so much for being such a huge part of it, um, for building your boxes, for sharing your experiences, for sharing your amazing box pictures, for your inspiration, um, for your kind comments, for your great feedback. Uh, Cynthia and I, really, you're making our jobs very easy. Um, so thanks again.